good day my students as this is Parkson mathematics and uh yeah we had some days off i had some technical issues to solve so we are back practicing maths so we are going to do the topic of uh, financial mathematics we will get back to probability and statistics soon as we are approaching the end of the year so we are going to do the first question you know in 9.1 in financial maths it says there in the textbook here is the textbook but i can't like bring it here and then put it back so i'm reading from the textbook it says stephanie invests five thousand for six years find the accumulated value investment after six years if the interest she receives is four percent per annum simple interest now simple interest now in now the difference between simple interest and simple and uh, compound interest is that the n for the simple interest it times it with the i which is interest and then the n is gonna be out of the i for the compound interest well our p which is the, the original price or investment which is five thousand all right i don't know what's happening with my camera So our P, which is the original price investment, which is five thousand, and then the years is six years, and the A, which represents the the accumulated price which we are trying to find, and then the I, which is interest, and and always remember the I, which is the interest. You need to divide it by a hundred when putting it into the equation. So we're gonna <coughs> use we're gonna use the simple interest method since they're saying so this is how we do the so this is how we do the equation. We put the formula of simple interest which is a P bracket one plus n times i, which is five thousand, which is p bracket one plus six, which is the number of years times the interest, which is zero comma twelve, which gives us an answer of eight thousand six hundred. Now, our second question in a we ask us to get. Accumulated value of her investment after six years if the interest receives four percent per annum compounded. Now, here you're going to use the compound formula to do so. This is how the compound formula looks like a equal p plus one brackets one plus i. Of n, so n is when you put the number of years. So this is how you do it: five thousand brackets one plus the interest to the power of six, which gives us an answer of nine thousand eight hundred and sixty-nine comma eleven, which is greater than the simple interest. Now our second question which is b it says uh mark it, it invested a certain amount of money and it grew to fifteen thousand over a period of seven years calculate the amount of money originally invested if the interest uh, received fifteen percent per annum single interest now here 
to meet a new floor after a day full of hugs, which is key. So, new investment to me, to be 15,000, which is the accumulated price. So, A is 15,000. P, the looking floor, which is the original price. The interest, we already defined a hundred, right? And then the number of years, seven years. So, so how are we doing? Do we need fifteen thousand equal P, which is hundred. That gets one plus seven times zero comma fifty. Which this is simple interest for me again. We get our final answer here. We divide what here to here in order to get our value of P. And our value of P is 7,853 for 40. That's how much Mark was invested. That's how much Mark originally invested in terms of simple interest. Now, for compound interest, in 13% annum compound interest, we we'll also put it using the formula. Now, for the compound interest, we can also do it like this. But the only difference is that if you are trying for P, which is always here, you can put P on the other side, but the change is going to make it that the number of years has to be negative. Alright? It's really bright here, but it can be given to negative. So it's P equals 15,000. Since we, we, we swap A and G, put A on this side and B on the other side. So this is this has to be a negative. So 15,000 that gets 1 plus the interest, which is 13%, divided by 100 is 7, 18. That gets negative 7, which is going to be an answer of 6,236. 75.9 Alright, enjoy it, put in it, love it. I'll see you guys next time and we are only starting level 2 of the top question. Thank you so much, guys.